great and i hope you guys are doing awesome today welcome back to my kitchen welcome back all right today we are going to do cook with me another cook with me today i'm trying something new i am really enjoying the cooking i love cooking i have been loving to cook for ever since i have my kids but now i want to put more cooking on my channel okay but um today i am trying something new 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 i am trying seafood what's got seafood okra stew that's mostly like the Ghanaian and nigerian um favorite stew that they make in their culture in their country i mean so today i am trying that i'm trying how to make okra seafood okra stew okay so as we always do we're gonna go to the table and i'll show you guys all the ingredients that i'm going to be i'm adding to the stew okay i am so excited i can't wait i'm hungry my husband is hungry so let's get cooking okay guys grandpa be quiet all right guys for the stew we got chopped okra nice okra and then we got our cube i don't have the stalks but i have the dust all right this is it this is what it looks like so this is what what is here so that's our cube Ooh, our cube and then we have our pepper and our onions and i know you guys will be like oh the pepper is too much yes we this pepper is for two you guys will see what i'm talking about okay i might not use all this pepper but yeah i just clean it just in case and then here for the dry seafood here we have a dry fish and a dry fish stock this is the stock this is so so good when i'm cooking this i like to put in two soup palm butter and no actually a few soup palm butter um and cassava leaf i love to put this in cassava leaf and palm butter but then i'm gonna try to put it in the okra today and see how it tastes because i'm making seafood okra all right and then over here, I have I have some dry turkey because I don't want it to be all fish. My husband does not really like seafood in his okra, so I put some dry turkey there just in case. And then here are my um, sam not salmon, yeah. Here are my um, mackerel. You can use whatever fish you like, but I love mackerel. That's the fish that we cook in our house a lot. So that's what I went with. And then last but not the least, we have our shrimp. And the shrimp is all nice and clean. All right, let's get to the pot and let's get cooking. Okay. Okay, guys, excuse my pot. I burned, like, literally I burned my pot. I was cooking recently and I burned it. So I have a new, um, I have a house, um, a kitchen. I ordered a new pot, like a set of pots. That it's coming really, really soon. I'm so super duper excited. I can't wait for it to arrive. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put all my stuff together. Everybody cooks different way, but I'm just gonna put all my stuff there. So I'm just gonna add all of my meat and everything. I'm just gonna add everything together. Usually I have enough time, but honestly guys, it's getting to really late. I had to come from doing grocery shopping before I make this dinner. Cause usually when I'm cooking, I have like, it's the pepper that we blend. Usually when I'm cooking, I have all my um, cooking stuff here. So it really doesn't take that long for me to make my, to cook my food because why? I have everything in the house. But for today, all right, we're gonna put our chickens in there, seasoning in there. So, but today I had to go do grocery shopping before I could cook. And that alone takes a whole long 
time. All right, I'm going to add some pepper flakes. I love me some pepper flakes. This is bell pepper. So whenever I'm cooking, I'm seasoning my meat because I want my meat to be very, very juicy, like delicious. My husband, like I keep saying, my hubby is an extremely picky eater. If I cook the food and it's not to the way he likes it, I don't like salt. I don't eat too much salt. So that's enough salt. So if I cook the food and it doesn't taste the way he likes it, trust me guys, he is not going to touch that food. No matter what. Okay, I'm gonna add some garlic powder to it, okay? These, this one that I'm doing is all your preference if you want to, but um, because I really want my food to be really juicy. So anyway, if the food doesn't taste the way he wants it, trust me guys, he is so not going to touch it. All right, we're just gonna put a little water in here. Okay guys, as I was looking through the groceries, I have not even put the groceries away yet. I realized that I bought some cubes, so I'm just gonna put two of it in here. All right, now we're gonna add our water and let this simmer we're not gonna make the water too much that's enough because i want all the seasoning that we put in here i really want it to go inside the the meat so we're just gonna leave it like that and just all right now let's cover it up and let it do its thing all right while that is cooking i'm gonna start on the other stove with the okra because i am running out of time completely Family, you guys will not believe this cookware. Oh my goodness, I purchased it. I purchased this cookware from Audi. If you ever, if you are ever shopping at Audi, go to their their household their household department. Go to that session. Oh my goodness, you are going to be amazed. Look what I did to my wall. I scraped my wall from cooking. That shows that what a cook, right? Go to their um their household session. You will love this. I paid twenty dollars for this. When I saw that, I was like, no question asked. I'm taking it. So we're gonna get the okra going here in this pot. All right, now we got our real oil. My okra. I think it's gonna be different from from everybody okra because my hubby he really likes his food well done. So seeing like some of those videos that I have watched, seeing the okra like that, he <laughs> guys he does not like it at all. He's like, that is not done. The okra is not done. I'm like, babe, what you mean it's not done? The okra is done. I got the water running. Let me turn it off. So I'm like, babe, what do you mean it's not done? It's done. He's like, no, it's not done. So my okra might be different from everybody else's okra, but all right, we're just going to let the oil. I think the oil is too much. I really think this oil is too much. So we're just going to let it melt. And then we'll be back and add whatever that needs to be added. Okay. Like I said, I ordered me some cookware. And I can't wait, guys. Oh. I so can't wait for this cookware to come. Okay, we're going to put the remaining pepper and onions, we're gonna put it here. You just got what? Why?
Okay, guys. Now I'm gonna put the okra in here. Right, okra. Ooh, I think the pot is small. I think this pot is going to be small. I think we are going to need. <laughs> I think we are going to transfer to a different pot from the local thing. Because imagine if I add all the meat to it. Yep, we are going to transfer it. We are going to transfer to a different pot from the local thing. This pot is nice and wide and wide, but it's not deep enough. All right, we're gonna let it simmer. At this point, I do not wanna make the stove, I don't wanna put the stove on high. I wanna put the stove on low. Let it take it, let it take his, its own time. Let it take its own time and do what it need to do, okay? You know what I mean? Gonna let it take its own time and do what it do. Okay, guys, how it looks, Milo. It still, it still has to draw, like very much so to draw, even though you're looking. Much darker than everybody else. But I think it looks good. It still has. Alright. Now we're gonna add the meat. Alright, I put fish. I gotta split this. This is too big. I'm splitting the, the macrots because it's too big. I don't like the whole fish like that in there. Everybody preference different. That's my preference. I don't like like big pieces of meat in my stew. I don't like it. All right, so I think I'm just gonna do it this way. do it like that that piece is huge okay there we go I thought we were going to transfer to a different pot but I guess we didn't have to I guess my pot is big enough hello guys welcome back we are done 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 cooking yes that is my husband actually when i was cooking this food he couldn't wait for me to finish so he took some while it was actually boiling because he couldn't wait so i'm just showing him so you guys can see hi say hi to my husband my greedy husband all right so we are done cooking it is so good he my husband have been telling me thank you thank you thank you thank you he said it's really really good so anyway i want to say you guys thank you so much for cooking with me leave me a comment down below let me know what food you want me to try next and i will do it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay i will see you guys at the end thank you so so much for cooking with me i love this too it turns out really really good i will see you guys next time bye y'all